This video is brought to you by Ridge Wallet, a slim front pocket wallet available in carbon fiber and titanium. With more than 250,000 sold, a lifetime guarantee and free shipping, get 10% off with the code GOLDFISH at RidgeWallet.com. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So as you know, Wednesday means it's Wild Card Wednesday here in Instant Deck Tech land, and we have a super sweet Pauper list to look at today. So Pauper is getting a bunch more support. Actually, with a big update to Magic Online, you can now qualify for Pro Tours playing Pauper, which means it's a really exciting time for the format and I kind of want to do some more Plague Popper videos so expect to see some more Popper content trickling out over the next couple of months because Popper's in a really sweet place right now and today's deck is one of the sweetest Popper decks I've seen in a while. This is Mono Black Land Destruction and it comes to us from Milcalvo who took it to a 5-0 finish in a Popper League on Magic Online so congrats to Milcalvo on a really sweet deck. A quick reminder before we break down Mono Black Land Destruction for Pauper. If you enjoy this deck and you want to see a main to videos, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button, leave a comment, anything you can do to support your deck, because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made into videos next week. So the plan of Mono Black Land Destruction is pretty simple. We're going to start blowing up lands as quickly as possible, as often as possible, and one of the cool things about Mono Black Land Destruction in Pauper is we actually have three different three mana land destruction spells. Choking sands blows up a non-swamp land i guess there could be some trouble if we run into the mirror but in general it's gonna blow up a land for three mana most games maybe even get a little bit of damage if it's non-basic ice quake blows up a land if it's snow cover it does a damage rancid earth destroys a land and if we have threshold which we can do in this deck with our cheap spells it's actually a way we can clean up a bunch of like tokens on the battlefield because it deals one damage to everything and then be foul is a little more expensive at four mana but has some upside we can blow up a land or a non-black creature, so it's actually a removal spell that's also a land destruction spell. So the idea of this deck is we want to start blowing up lands, hopefully by turn one if we're lucky, if not turn two, turn three. So to blow up the lands quicker, we have a couple of ramp spells. Dark Ritual, one mana, adds three mana. So this means on turn one, we can go Swamp, Dark Ritual, blow up your only land with any of our big land destruction spells. And then Peat Bog is a little bit weird. It comes into play tapped, but it's a land and that twice can tap for two black mana, but then it goes away after that. But if we play this on turn one, on turn two, we can play a swamp and be able to blow up our opponent's only land, depending on play draw or one of their two lands. So this starts the land destruction process a little bit earlier. And that's one of the most powerful things you can do. If your opponent plays their land drop on turn one and you can immediately blow that up and then follow that up with more land destruction throughout the game, it's really, really strong. And that doesn't even take into account the fact that one of the most popular dual land cycles in the pauper format are the bounce lands, the Karu lands from original Ravnica, which enter the battlefield tap, make you pick up a land, but tap for two mana. So when we're blowing up one of those, it's kind of like we're blowing up two lands in one, which is incredibly powerful and one of the big reasons to play land destruction. The other important part of this deck is card draw. So if we're just one for running our opponent's lands away, sooner or later, we're going to run out of land destruction spells. But if we can draw extra cards each turn while still pressuring our opponent's lands, we're going to keep hitting land destruction and hopefully just outpace our opponent's ability to draw lands. So Thorn of the Black Rose comes down, we become the Monarch. Since our opponent's likely not going to have many or any lands, going to be very hard for them to steal the Monarchy back from us, which means every turn we're drawing two cards, opponent's drawing one cards, and we can just outpace them and make sure we blow up every single one of their lands throughout the game. We also have some backup card draw. Sign and Blood just draws two cards. Read the Bones lets us scry and draw two. Dusk Leech is out like kind of one of our finishers, <laughs> putting a 1-1 on the body. It's not fast, but if our opponent has no lands on the battlefield, we will eventually get there with Dusk Legion Zealots, and it draws us a card along the way. So drawing cards to make sure we keep hitting land destruction, and then to finally close out the game quickly, our plan is Gurmag Angler, which is just one of the biggest, baddest, cheapest threats in the pauper format. Since we have all this land destruction, our graveyard is going to fill up with spells pretty quickly, then we can cast Gurmag Angler for 2 mana, 3 mana, maybe even 1 mana, and just beat our opponent down with this cheap 5-5 five five while also blowing up their lands. Otherwise, Chainer's Edict gives us a little bit more removal. The mana base we 
talked about Peat Bog being an important ramp spell for the turn 2 land destruction. Baron Moore gives us some cycling, Radiant Fountain, a little bit of life gain against aggro, a bunch of swamps. In the sideboard, we get a ton of ways to customize our removal package. Ghastly Demise can be super cheap, Victim of Night hits pretty much anything, but Foul, like we talked about, land destruction plus creature destruction, and then Tendrils not only kills a creature, but potentially gains us a decent amount of life to stay out of the danger zone against aggro decks. Pestilence gives us a sweeper type effect, Cartouche of Ambition, a little bit more life gain and removal for small creatures, Duress to deal with the endless counters of decks like Delver and Control decks, and that is Mono Black Land Destruction for Popper. And that's where it's a deck deck for today, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.